Hey guys, you're watching one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Engine. I think it was last episode, we had a little bit of a last minute panic when we realised that we hadn't built the engine quite correctly. We had built something on the wrong side and had to try and fix it all. We managed to do that and everything is right now. It just put us back about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. Today, I want to get the distributor on, which is what we were going to do last episode. And I want to get the spark plugs in, try and get some electrics done. Maybe even hook them all up as well. Now, the distributor distributes uh, power to each one of the spark plugs, so they fire at an individual t set time, okay? So inside that, there's usually like a little thing that goes round, and when it hits the correct connection, it sends power to that spark plug. It also has a main power lead that goes out that I suppose would eventually connect to the battery somewhere. Um, but because we don't have like the inside of the engine bay, we have nothing to connect that to. So we'll probably end up just leaving it blank. Now, the shape of this is quite interesting. We have like, I'm going to do this color coming out. Let's just put it down there a little bit. So it looks like it's sort of in there. Oh, let's turn the old shaders off as well. So it comes out a little bit. Let's do like four blocks out. It also goes up at, at, at that sort of angle as well if we can get that <coughs> voice if we can get that in that would be cool I'd probably no I don't think I need to move it away I was thinking about maybe we'd have to move it in that direction as well to make room for the spark plugs but I don't think it's gonna get in the way of that we should we should be okay so it's gonna come up a little bit of an angle here and I'm gonna use the light gray wool now to make sort of a cylinder it, it, it doesn't need to be a hundred percent precise uh, but as long as it's sort of close to so let's go with a oops uh, difficulty peaceful I heard a little what was that a spider that's what it would have been it sort of sounded like a silverfish for a minute but I was like it can't be it can't be surely not have those up like that something like this I like the shape, and then, I don't think I like that there, I think I want to take those away, but that there, yeah, I'll go with that, and then on top of that, we then have the distributor, I think it's called the distributor cap, um, but I'm not 100% sure, I think, I think it is, see inside here, you'd have something like, it'd be probably a, a dark plate, and then iron bars or something and that would sort of swing around and let's say each corner uh, was linked to a one of the four spark plugs so if it was on that one it would send power to the first one if it was on that one it would send power to the second one etc etc so it'd be like a okay pretty close it's a very basic sort of um, impression of it now if we use this darker color, this darker gray now, to do the cap, I want to do a little bit of a lip around it. So it stands out a little bit more. Okay, and then build this up a little bit. Um, there. Something like that. Yeah, you know that works, that works. It's like, it is very much of a mushroom shape. But then on top here, we then need to have the connection. So let's do one there, one there, one there, and one there. So each one goes to a different spark, <coughs> spark plug. And then in the middle here, like I said, you would have a main one that goes to the battery. But because we don't have a battery, we don't have the, the engine bay, we can't connect it to anything. So what's the point? Let's get a light blue as the power leads or should we use red as the power leads red as power leads sounds pretty important doesn't it um so the, the power leads will come up there 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 and there and we'll continue the leads on once we've got the spark plugs in see i was a little i did say i was a little concerned about this spark plug and this being in the way i might have to tilt this out actually we might we might have to i think we can do that i think we can do that let's grab this end and let's grab this one. And if I stand up here and we do cut, 
paste. So we shoved it along that way by one. And then I think we'll do it again, but with a, uh, a, a higher up second point. So we'll go from there. Whoops, nearly fell off. Cut, oops, cut, paste. Okay, so we just moved it away by two blocks. That should, should give us enough room. And as you can see, we still kept the shape of it. It still looks absolutely fine for us. Now, I think we should probably do this spark plug first, and then we can copy and paste them all the way down as necessary. We're going to put on the bolt that screws them on. So that's the bolt, which leaves us three blocks, or is it three or two? Two blocks in the middle for the actual spark part. Uh, white, spark plugs are always white. Uh, oh, just wool then. Or well, snow, no, wool has a little bit of a texture. No, I tell you what, iron bars. I always complain that iron bars has a sort of striped texture, and that's exactly what we need for this one. So we'll come out of the this part, I think, and we'll go up like that. And then I need something just on the top. It's usually like a, a thin cobblestone wall. Perfect. Boop. So there's our spark plug. Really easy. I don't think I need to copy and paste that. I could just sort of mirror it all the way down. I don't think I can really make it any thicker without it looking weird unless I do that. That might actually work. And then I could probably go with the full block instead. You know, I think I like that. I think that looks chunkier and bigger. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. So we go. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one. It's going to be quicker to actually just build these by hand than it is to copy and paste. Let me do that and I shall be back. All right, there we go. So the spark plugs are in the engine now. And we can hook each one of these up to the spark plug. We'll just have that one like that one. What's going to be like the, the best way? Let's have this one going over. I don't want to get in the way of... I can drop that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. This one over here. Where am I? Up and on top. We'll have this one and nice and close underneath it. <laughs> This is quite cool. This is actually going to look really nice when we when we step back from this, I'm sure. And then this one. Let's try and get this on top of that other one so we don't sort of go too wide with it. Nope, not like that. Yeah, something like that, you see. So we keep it nice and close. And then drop it in down here. Up and on. There we go, we've got some cables on. Absolutely sweet. Now, I think there's there's all sorts of manners of, uh, of things that we can do now. We've sort of got most of the uh, bits complete, so it's just now plonking on uh, the other bits. The engine plate is probably the next one, but I don't 100% get how that's going to go on. I need to look at that. Uh, there is the starter, which goes down here somewhere. It just sort of plugs on. This thing, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's the fuel pump. Let's build that, because I could just build that now, because I've got a picture of it. We'll go with orange and brown. What other brown have I got? Brown. Yeah, that one. Um, it's more of a sort of rusty looking piece. And then it has a wire, or well not a wire, it has a piece of piping that leads up in between there and then runs around the top of the cylinder head here. Uh, but I don't know where it actually goes. So we're just going to have to sort of <laughs> end it off somewhere. But it's a round-ish shape. So we'll go with... I think I want to go with a 2 by 3 Put the bottom on as well. Like this. It's actually been built a lot quicker than I thought. I didn't think... Oh, I thought it would take a lot longer to build a, a car engine at this scale than we have. Uh, but I think we've just made really good progression, like, every episode. Alright, so now if we go with... 
this something like that is that right that goes down there goes down there down there down there so we've got that bolt on there and that bolted on there right both sides good uh, apart from that, there isn't really much to it. I think I can see like a little bit that comes out here and it has like a little tap by the looks on it. I really don't know what this part of it is. Let's just move that down to give that a little bit more shape and the same on the bottom. Oops, there's only one on the bottom. Oh, there we go. So something like that just adds a little bit more detail to it. Um... But apart from that, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy on how that looks. Then we have, out of the top, we have a little piece of metal that comes up there. <coughs> Black, without going cap to letters. This is like a piece of rubbery looking wire that goes up the side here. And it goes up to about where the blue ends. Like that. And then we break into a... I'm going to run up there. It should run up there in between that one. But I'm going to run it up between that one, I think. Uh, just a piece of metal, which I think cobblestone walls would work best for. Because it's a little bit thinner than the black. So then I'm just going to run it to the car, or to the engine. I'm going to run it along here. Run it up there. And then... I think it runs above that, or on the same level as that. I think it runs up here. But I don't have... We'll have to add on to this once I know where it goes. Because the image that I'm using as a reference here uh, can only see the sort of... Uh, that side of it, the side that we've been building from today. Oh, I've got a block missing. Look, from where we moved it. There we go. So this will just have to run around here for now. I don't really know where it does go at all. I have no idea. It might... Am I going to those? Well, it's, it's the fuel pump. So it must somehow be putting... F I think it's the fuel pump. It must be putting fuel into the engine somehow. I just don't know where. But yeah, I think that then goes down uh, to the to the fuel line that then leads to the back of the vehicle where obviously the, the fuel tank will be. I think. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. <laughs> Let me look up this... Um, uh, engine plate and try and figure out how exactly that goes on and I should be back All right, I know where the uh, engine plate goes. We need a little bit of modification for it uh, Because when we designed the block here uh, I sort of forgot about it or I sort of used my imagination on what would sort of go here But it turns out that the engine plate goes on before the flywheel when we sort of basically we built like an engine plate That's built into the block itself, which is what this is here uh, but all we need to do, really, is remove the arch and then make a nice clean blue area for then the engine plate to sit on top of. So if we just remove this, like this, I think my design is, is, is more efficient. It requires less manufacturing uh, because you're, you're, you're putting in an engine plate all in one go. I think it looked neater as well. But it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, blue, blue base plate thing here. I'll leave this ring here. But I'll just sort of fill this one up. Instead. I sort of like that bit missing. Just just for design. Not that we'll see it. But it doesn't matter. So we have these on here. And it's actually quite a chunky bit of the block as well. Uh, on at least that side. It, it does go quite thick as the... Uh, this blue cast bit uh, spreads further than the rest of the block. You'll see just in a moment. Okay, so if we start on this side, it's got a, a round, almost egg, shape, egg type shape. So if we run it up like this... Sort of, it's very similar to how it is on the, uh, on the other side. That's too far out. Something like this. 
you see so we just added a little bit on there and the base plate goes below the the block a slight bit as well uh but we don't need to worry about any any more blue at the bottom so that goes in there that goes there and that goes there and on this side we've already got the curve so we don't need to worry about that now the engine plate we're going to do in this nice um light gray sort of chromey block and we're going to run this down here it runs two here i might have to change this to a different color let's change that to this one for now perfect you can't see any of the other ones and i'm going to run it over like that so it it really does show that that bit will turn and it goes below it as well. We're going to run it. Well, let's let's continue with this curve and get this curve right. So if we go like that, like that, perfect. That should that should work quite well. So sort of fill that part in like that. That goes around there, and then I just need to bring it back up to the top here. Like that. Wonderful. Now, there's a rectangle missing out of the top here. If we follow this around, like this, right at the top. To me, if we put it in Minecraft terms, I would say two or three blocks below the top. Uh, relatively centered by the looks to, to this. Uh, if we put that in there. Yeah, I'm going to say two blocks from the top. And I'm going to say five blocks wide and four blocks three blocks down I would say that looks about right to scale to me and then we can fill the rest of this in here so this is the engine plate I think I'm not 100% sure what an engine plate does but let's take an educated guess here it could be to help with heat dissipation uh, because we've got the flywheel on here, which obviously is going to be spinning really quite fast. Uh, so if we have uh, a metal plate in between, it'll stop the cast uh, iron, I suppose it's iron, uh, block from getting too hot. Uh, or it could be to do with friction. Maybe uh, it, it it shouldn't be touching it anyway, but maybe if it did, it would, it would have less friction. I would say I would go more with the heat dissipation than anything else. Would be, would be my guess if it was a test question in school. But I might be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm right or wrong. You know, that might not be quite big enough. I might be able to do that instead. Just for that in. What that does, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I ever figured it out in my summer car either. Um, I think it's just... I don't know. I don't know what it does. I don't know why there's a hole there. But yeah, there's the engine plate on as well. All of these different shades of grey and little touches of colours are really, really helping out, aren't they? They're, each piece that we put on actually looks like uh, it's, it's an actual, you know, part to it. I'm really quite happy with this. I'm going to leave the episode there, though, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, I suppose, will be starter, maybe the oil filter. Maybe we'll start on the oil pan or flywheel and clutch. There's a few more bits, you know, still to go on. Uh, and then, you know, uh, towards the very end of the series, we'll be adding the, um, the rocker cover and the carburetor uh, above that. See you guys in the next episode.